Good evening, everyone. This is Ben Herzog with the National Weather Service in Milwaukee, bringing you an update for your New Year's weekend weather. As you can see here, there is an area of snow finally beginning to push out of southern Wisconsin. Uh, it's been a pretty light snow so far, very small snowflakes. Totals thus far, we've seen about 0.3 inches in Milwaukee, half an inch in Madison and here at the office, and we've had a couple of reports from across the area up to an inch in Genoa City and 0.8 inches in Horicon. Today won't be the only round of snow we see as there's another chance for light snow on Friday. Snow is most likely closer to the state line. It will arrive in the southwest around noon, gradually push west to east, arriving lakeside around 3, and the snow should end by early evening. You can see here, for the most part, we're looking for less than 1 inch across the state, though near the state line and farther southwest, we can see up to 2 inches. After we get through the snow on Friday, the very cold temperatures we've been experiencing will become reinforced. Looking at temperatures for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, you can see very cold, less than 20 degrees everywhere, and generally less than 10 degrees for most of the time. You can see Saturday, Sunday, and Monday morning, our wind chills will be in the negative 20 to negative 30 range, which means more wind chill advisories will likely need to be issued. A few tips to trying to beat this extreme cold weather. Uh, first of all, dress in as many layers as possible. Try and cover as much exposed skin as you can. And a few more tips, keep faucets on outside walls at a drip and open any cabinets that contain pipes on those outside walls. That can help your pipes from bursting and avoid some more serious issues. Additionally, it's a good idea to keep a blanket in your car, and if you're using space heaters at home, use them cautiously. Keep anything that's flammable at least three feet away. So with that, I'd like to wish you a happy new year and hopefully you can keep warm as we head into 2018.